As we start 2020, Democratic presidential candidates will be ramping up their pitches to voters. But some candidates could be pulled away from the campaign trail to serve as jurors in the Senate impeachment trial. CBS News asked New Jersey Senator Cory Booker if he wants to see the trial sooner rather than later. This process is going to work, away, work its way out the way it's going to work its way out, and I'm going to do what I have to do. And so when it comes to campaigning out of here, I'll deal with whatever the circumstances are. For more on this, I'm joined by CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Adam Brewster from Creston, Iowa. Adam, thank you for being with us. So you spoke with Senator Booker. What has he been saying about his strategies at this stage in the race? Well, when I asked him yesterday, Catherine, about his strategy, he didn't want to give away the exact blueprint of what that would be, but said he's confident in the plans his team has put together. Uh, that, of course, could include things like virtual town halls and FaceTiming into events, also sending surrogates around the state to campaign on behalf of him. You know, we're 33 days now away from the Iowa caucuses. This is the first day of campaigning in 2020. Uh, Senator Booker is spending his day here in Iowa. And, and one part of his strategy, his campaign manager put out a memo uh, a week ago uh, about a week ago last week, saying, you know, Iowa is essential and performing well here is essential for them. This is a state where they built out a big team early, an experienced team. Uh, this is a state where they think they can do well. Senator Booker said yesterday, you know, he would like to win here. He's a competitor, but that he thinks over outperforming and beating the expectations could send them on a great launch. And so, as you mentioned, January could be a time where he can't spend as much time in Iowa as he would have necessarily liked to. Uh, they spent this is his 39th day campaigning here. Ten of those days came just in December. So they have really tried to spend a lot of time here in Iowa as we inch closer toward caucus day. Well, Senator Booker also addressing fundraising. His campaign manager suggested on Twitter that this was basically his best fundraising quarter. What is Booker and his campaign, what are they attributing this fundraising increase to? We don't know the exact number yet, but we know his best quarter previously was the third quarter. He raised more than $6 million, so we should be seeing a larger number than that uh, when, when they announce what the fundraising number was. And one of the things Booker talked about yesterday uh, was that he talks on the trail about how he believes he's the best person to build a broad coalition uh, that Democrats, he says, need to win a general election. And he says people are starting to buy that message, and that is what is leading to more online contributions. And one of the things he talked about, too, that, that he's able to do with those online contributions is going up finally on television more, competing with some of his rivals who have been on television here for several months doing ads. Uh, they just started a six-figure buy in Des Moines and Cedar Rapids on Monday. Uh, that is something that they have just started and that they, they say they would like to do more of if the funds are there and having a strong uh, fourth quarter is obviously part of that. Okay, so the next Democratic primary is the debate's going to be held January 14th in Iowa, creeping closer quickly. So far, Cory Booker has not qualified. He did not qualify for the last debate either. So how is he addressing not being on the debate stage on the campaign trail? When he was here in December, actually, while uh, many of uh, the other Democrats were in Los Angeles on the debate stage, and he said at that point, like, deba that debates have gone very well for them, that he that they've given them good exposure and he thinks he's performed well and they've seen increase in support coming out of the debates. But that missing that debate, they didn't see he didn't see as a mortal blow for his campaign that he would have expected it to be. Uh, he is really trying to hit the polling threshold. He's hit the donor threshold uh, to be on that January debate stage. Uh, in that memo that his, his campaign manager put out last week, they said one of the fundamental goals is making the January debate stage. They see it as a chance to build momentum uh, in the weeks leading up to the Iowa caucuses and as a chance to talk to, to Iowans and, and voters as they've really started to tune in more and start to really hone in on their decision-making process. You know, I mentioned the fundraising and the advertising. Of course, they're hoping that, you know, as they can buy more ads, that that is something that could increase uh, their polling numbers. He, he needs to hit that polling threshold. Uh, the deadline to do so is January 10th. Adam Brewster, thank you.